Less commuting means less carbon, and that's a better climate choice. More and more people working from anywhere translates to less necessary office space. A work from anywhere option is a recruiting advantage, if not a recruiting requirement in a competitive job market. The remote workforce is here to stay. What is on the horizon? What does the future of the remote workforce look like? When the workforce can work from anywhere, the workforce can also choose to live anywhere. Fewer employers will require their employees to relocate to a particular city. It remains to be seen how that change sorts out, but it is worth watching if, how, when, and where population growth shifts in the next five to 10 years. In the future, less household income could be spent on gas, car payments, and maintenance or other transportation options, like ride hailing services and public transportation. Other expenses like childcare could be reduced or eliminated. Could those cost reductions indicate a higher standard of living for a remote workforce? Again, we'll have to wait and see how that all plays out. Most remote workforces still need to meet in person on occasion. That potential corporate cost savings in office space could be directed to more off-site organizational events, like all-day, all-hands meetings or retreats. We could see the corporate event location businesses grow exponentially if this turns out to be accurate. A close cousin to the off-site event space might be co-working spaces. Co-working spaces were already starting to be popular before the pandemic. Today, we're seeing a lot of options in that space, including high-end co-working places with concierge service, in-house chefs, bartenders, workout rooms, and more. An expanding remote workforce might lead to an increase in co-working businesses. One potential downside to remote work is a less than adequate ability to brainstorm and creative problem solve. Could some of those deficiencies be solved with technology? What if one future of the remote workforce was the multiverse? If a team was in a three-dimensional virtual reality when they were brainstorming instead of interacting over video conference, maybe there would be more of the spontaneous collective creativity that sparks new products and solves problems. Spontaneously asking a coworker if he or she has a minute to chat, a random offer to buy a coworker lunch, bumping into someone in the hallway, randomly discovering mutual interests among the people you work with, the ability to interrupt one another in overlapping conversations. These are all examples of how trust is more easily created and solidified when we're in the same place working together as compared to working remotely. So another future of the remote workforce will be deliberately making time for no shop talk conversations. Leaders will make time for teams to hang out and get to know one another. This one is pretty obvious, but the more we work remotely, the more cybersecurity will play a larger role in all of our work lives. That likely translates to more cybersecurity policies, technology, training, and awareness in the future. One of the best tips for career advancement is to get noticed by leadership. That recognition is more difficult for both sides of that equation with a 100% remote workforce. A remote worker who never comes into the office, never turns on the camera, never speaks up in meetings, but gets the work done behind the scenes, probably will be disadvantaged when there are promotion opportunities. The remote workforce will have to step up their online game to differentiate themselves if career advancement is a goal. And the future of the remote workforce has to include an emphasis on work done over hours worked. Any organization that jumped into remote work and increased the frequency of meetings may be wondering why productivity is down and morale is low. Synchronous time when teams are virtually together at the same time has to be elevated as the most important valuable time for a remote workforce. It can't be taken for granted. One best practice to leverage asynchronous work when teams accomplish tasks independently is to use objectives and key results. OKRs. OKRs can be ambitious or even seem unrealistic, but most remote workers would trade out a calendar full of virtual meetings for a higher expectation to get more stuff done. Will the benefits of remote work outweigh the drawbacks? Only time will tell.
If you want to learn more about how a modern business phone system can help your team, whether they're remote or in person, please subscribe to this channel. We are committed to helping small businesses find the best communication solutions and we'll continue to make content for that purpose. Thanks for watching.